I just got a new addition to the kayak trailer motor. Check it out. What's up guys, TJ here, welcome to the channel. Today's video, as you can tell by the thumbnail, we are gonna be installing the Bixby hand control steering system to our kayak trolling motor that we just installed on my kayak a few weeks ago. Uh, just got it in the mail today. Don't really know a whole lot about it. It's uh, new, uh, one of my subscribers actually hit me up and said, hey man, you know they make a hand control for the Bixby. It don't cost that much. You should put it on your boat and check it out. So I ordered it, it was pretty cheap. I think I give like $75 for it. But what it is, is it's gonna to mount to the side of my seat and instead of steering the motor with my feet, I'm gonna be able to just reach over, kind of like a Hobie or a Native and just turn it you know, with my hand. Uh, I do like the foot control because it, it frees up my hands, but at the same time, I'm noticing a little bit of fatigue whenever I'm crossing like a big lake or something and having to turn this thing, you really gotta put your toes into the side of this. I don't know, it was kind of weird for me. Uh, it does work, it works really well. If you want to do the foot control, it's, you're not gonna have any major issues. I just really wanted to try this thing out and see how it does and compare it. If I don't like it, I could always you know, switch right back to my feet controls. But I think I'm gonna like this. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the bench. We're gonna unbox it, check out everything that comes with it. And I guess we gotta drill some more holes in my boat. I can't believe I got a boat left. I've been drilling holes in this boat on this channel for six, seven months now. Let's go over to the bench. All right, so first of all, excuse the echo. We're in the garage again. It's cold uh, this week. I guess it decided to be winter again here in Alabama. Last week it was like 70 something degrees. It's like I said in the last video, every week we have a different season here in Alabama this time of year. But it's cold as crap outside again today, so I got all the doors shut on the garage. It's still pretty chilly in here, but it's gonna cause a, a pretty annoying echo, so bear with me on that. And that was actually the weather app telling me that it's fixing this rain again. That's awesome. So anyway, what I ordered was the Big Speed hand controls for the Big Speed, but we're going to be putting it on my kayak controller motor, the DIY one we built. So let's open it up. I already cut it open. When you open up the box, you get your shipping label. Sold to Timothy Russell. That is me. And then you get your bag with your control and your tubing. This tubing is just like a tubing that goes through your bolt. You know, your wires go through it for your rudder control and your steering. And this looks like, I thought it was gonna be bigger than this. I'm kind of glad it's not. I don't like the colors. I'll tell you that right now. The colors that is that it's like gray and white. But what's really cool is you don't have to mount. You can, you mount the mounting plate to your boat and then you pop this on there. Something like that like that and then this is what you, you just reach over beside I'm, I'm gonna try to get it right next to my seat and you just reach over and that's how you turn let's see what else we got it looks like we got some allen wrench an allen wrench I guess because we got to take this apart these have the allen heads in them uh, the mounting screws also have the allen heads on them and it's got the little nuts with a nylon in them so they won't back off once you tighten them down that's really good so let's see you get your four mounting screws your four nylon nuts so i guess now we are going to hop over on the kayak i'm going to find the perfect place it's got to be the perfect place to mount this you know how picky i am guys i'm super picky uh i don't want this to be in the way if if I've got an idea of where I want to put it, but I don't want it to be in the way of anything, you know. And the vibe, the Seagulls, we have our storage for our tackle boxes on the side. I don't want that to block that. So let's go over to the kayak and see exactly where I can put this. So if we put it here, I'm going to have to drill a hole in the side of this lip right here. It looks like the hole, because you, you want it to be a straight line. So I'm going to drill a hole here and a hole here. We're going to put these two tubes coming out, maybe right in here somewhere. And then they're just going to run in the kayak to the back of the boat. And then we'll have to fish them through the actual rudder holes back there. We're not going to be able to get our arm up to where we want to be able to put the nuts on the back of the hardware that came with this. So what I do have is I've got these. These are number eights. Uh, they're stainless steel. They're three quarter inches long. And they're that shape that just countersinks, you know, straight down in there. So these will work good. 
and there's enough sticking off the back, I think it'll do us good. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna drill these two holes that I was able to mark. We're gonna lock it down and then we'll go up here and just drill the holes straight through, straight through the plate here and then get these in. Let's do that now. The two holes that I drilled, I drilled really small. They're nowhere near the size of this. I want this to be able to eat into the plastic and basically seal itself up once we tighten it down. All right, so that is there. So now I'm gonna take the drill before I lock these down completely. And we're gonna go tight there uh, got the holes drilled put the four screws in I did not use any silicone because I drilled the holes super small and I kind of let these screws self thread into the boat if I have any issues I'll go back and add silicone later but I, I honestly I've done this so many times I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with water getting around these threads at all so I'm not worried about it all right so now we've got the mounting plate on and I'll show you how this goes this goes right in there, clicks in, and it's there. And then I should just be able to sit in my seat. It's pretty solid. So the two cords or cables or whatever you want to call them, it looks like it's just like a, I think it's a 500 pound test or test or whatever you want to call it. But these, these need to come straight out and I want them to come out in a straight line and they're gonna come down into here somewhere. So the, the first hole I drill, I don't know if I want to be on top, I think I can. I might take advantage of this little lip here and put them down into the lip. Feed my piping through. That should be fine. All I'll have is this uh, a stretch of cable from here to here. I went and got the drill bit. It is a quarter inch drill bit is what you want to use to drill these holes. Uh, you don't want to go any bigger. Uh, that's about the size of the, the tube. I believe the tube is a quarter or maybe just a hair under but it should fit nice and snug through there. I think right there is gonna be a good spot for that one. And right in there for that one. So now I need to, it's gonna wanna walk sideways with me. So I'm gonna have to go in this way first. stiff wire through up to the front, connect it somehow, and try to pull the tube through. I don't know, this is kind of a pain. I'm just feeding the tube onto the stiff wire. It's a pretty good fit, actually. Huh, that might, that might help out, let's see. I thought I might super glue it or 
connect it somehow with a piece of it, but it was a, such a tight fit. Maybe. Look at that. Oh my God, it worked. This, this is our new tube gas. It is running all the way to our new thing. I'm, I'm super happy. Heat it all the way around. Give it a nice square firm push. That's pretty good there. I like that. Alright, so now I'm just going to feed this in, let it cool for a minute. Alright, so here we are at the front. We've got our two lines coming out. Everything's good to go in the back. Uh, I did do a little bit of research just now, and we are not going to use these little black things that were in the kit. Uh, I believe these are for maybe the foot pedal install for the front. I don't know. Uh, Everything that I just found online, you know, they didn't use these. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So instead of, my original plan was, you know, cutting these here and using the little black pegs to hold them in place. I thought that was gonna be it. But this, they're, they're just such a, a bad, t it's like the, the fit is horrible. Like it fits good without the hose, but once you put the hose on there, it just messes it up really bad. So here's the route we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna put our box on for now just like this and get it there. Then we're gonna take a couple of Allen heads and we're gonna remove the handle and we're gonna remove the top. There is a spring in here that pops up for the handle, so be careful. Make sure you don't go sending your screws everywhere. See a little spring, it just sits right on top of that. And I'm just gonna set this to the side for a second. So these two tubes come up and they're gonna go right into the little white clip here. And instead of clipping them really short, I believe since the inside of this, look, I said don't lose the screws and the first thing I do is flip it over and throw the screws. All right, I'm an idiot. All right, so when you flip this over, this is what the inside of this looks like. And all it is is you turn one way and it turns the other way, back and forth, just like that. We don't, we don't have to have these cords coming all the way down to here. They can go ahead and go into the pipe right up in here somewhere, I believe. And that'll keep us from having too short of a pipe popping out. It, it'll, it'll help us out in the long run, I believe. And yeah, I think that's gonna be our best bet. That's a good straight line. So let's cut it to right there. Push it down in that little white thing so it's going to be right there flush with the end of that little wall. Let's pull this kind of tight. Find our spot. Go right there with that one. And this wants to pop up right now but once we get the top on it'll be alright. It won't go nowhere. What do you think? I think that's pretty good right there. Alright for this part of feeding the line through the hose I want to show you guys a really cool trick that you can do as long as you have like an air compressor or you know just something small that you can hook an air nozzle to and it will you don't have to sit here and try to feed and feed 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 try to and then the line keeps up inside the pipe and it gives you a real big problem so what we're going to do right now is i'm going to go to the back of the boat and i'm going to feed a little bit of the line through starting at the back and then i'm going to use my air nozzle off my air compressor and I'm going to shoot it through this pipe and I want you to watch this right here. It should shoot the line straight out for me. Let's see if it works. So I've got some threaded in there right now. I just kind of pushed it. I'm going to stick the air nozzle right in the back. <laughs> How do you like that? Let me do the other one. It should push it on through. Just make sure you don't have any kinks in your line. There it is. Sorry, air compressor kicked on right in the middle of that. But it just shoots the line right out. Like, wow, it shot like four feet out of that one. But that's a really cool way to do it if you, uh, if you don't want to just sit there and fish it through. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get my pipes back up to where they go. And this pops up and on, you just want to go around the right side you're gonna be coming through and then there's a little hole that you come out of on the bottom. You come out of that hole. 
and we're gonna tie it right around this little post they got here. So, and hopefully these tuck up in those that little hole there and they don't get in the way. All right, there we go. So let's get this in the center a little bit. We're gonna drop our lid back on or our cover. We should be ready to rock and roll hooking up the back right now, guys. Our lines are running straight up in there. They come straight through here, nice and clean. Still not sure if I'm gonna like that clicking, but we'll see, or the color. Definitely not, I don't like the color. So they come through. We're back here now. We got them both on each side. These are running to the... Now what we gotta do is remove my old from my buckles and hook these up. All right, I tried to back you guys up so you can actually see me turning the handle and seeing it turn in the back. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I am noticing that there's some stretch in the rain's coming down. I hope you can hear me. I am noticing that there is some stretch in the line that they sent. Uh, I didn't have any stretch in my older line. I may end up swapping the line out. I am gonna test this out on the water first to see. Cause I'm noticing like when I turn fully that way, it does good. When I go back to the center, it's still stretched to there. I have to go all the way back to this side and then pull it back to the center. So I think that's got a lot to do with the, the amount of stretch that's in the line, but it seems to work really good. I think I'm gonna like it. It is completely installed. I've got a mess up here too. I've got tools laying everywhere, hoses that are laying everywhere. But here's our final product. It don't look too bad other than the ugly colors. All right guys, that is gonna do it for this video of the Bigsby hand control installation. I think I'm gonna like it a lot. Once we get the kinks worked out, we get the, we get that loud noise that, you know, I, I don't think I'm gonna be happy with that or the stretching of the cables. But we're gonna get that figured out. I'm gonna put it on the water. I do think once we get those two kinks handled, I will enjoy being able to just reach over and bump the handle and turn and you know cruise across the lake uh, a lot better than the foot control. And I'll go over that once we get it on the water, as soon as the weather lets up. Right now it's pouring rain and it's like 40 degrees or 45 degrees or something like that. But the weather should be breaking here very soon. I'm gonna take it out. I'll bring you guys with me and we'll put this thing on the water, put it through its paces and see how it does. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Check out my other videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.